Are you in the market for a new or new to you car, but feeling overwhelmed by the choices and intimidated by market conditions? You're not alone. In today's show, we're covering the ultimate car buyer's guide for your next car purchase. Whether you're a first time buyer or a seasoned automobile enthusiast, this guide will provide you with the essential tips and information you need to make an informed decision. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and right across the way from me is the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Thanks, Kevin. Should you buy new or should you buy used? That is one of the biggest questions people are facing today. The current car market, while it's on the road back to normalization, makes it more complicated than it needs to be. Indeed. So let's dive into the world of cars and help you find your perfect match. The first big factor to understand happens to be your own needs. Instead of listening to yourself saying, man, I'd sure like to get a whatever it is. Take a moment and consider how you'll use your next car. Replace the words I want or I like with I need. Yep. Because understanding what you actually need tunes your brain into logical thinking about your vehicle. And believe me when I say it's your logical brain, not your emotional brain, that will save you from getting ripped off by an unscrupulous dealer. That's totally on the money, Kevin. Every part of my car buying journey is based on logic. For example, friends, when it comes to needs, do you need a family-friendly, full-size SUV to get your growing family around, a fuel-efficient commuter car to get you back and forth to work, or do you need a general service vehicle like a truck because you're going to do some towing? Will you be hauling other passengers regularly or hauling stuff? Think about seating capacity, cargo space, and the driving environment, whether it's country dirt roads, city roads, or highways. When you use your next vehicle, will you be concerned about comfort for traveling long distances? All good stuff. Yep. Number two is budget. That uncomfortable word for some people, but it must be realistic. For it to be realistic, you have to factor in the total cost of ownership. And if you haven't already seen our video on this subject, go back and watch our video titled 13 Hidden Costs of Car Ownership Your Salesman Won't Tell You About. It includes things like insurance, maintenance, fuel, and any financing charges to name a few hidden costs. Remember, good budgeting is not just about the purchase price of the vehicle. Number three, let's talk about new versus used cars. Which way should you go on this one? There are a few reasons to go with new, and they include, number one, an attractive price. If the recent year used cars are priced very near their new car price, you might find better value with a new car. In addition, you get latest technology and features. New cars offer the newest advancements in safety, entertainment, and comfort. You can enjoy the benefits of the full warranty. They come with comprehensive manufacturer warranties covering various potential issues. Some customization options are available. It's not like it used to be, but you'll still have some ability to choose specific colors, features, and specifications. A new car has no previous usage. New cars have no history of wear and tear, accidents, or misuse. You don't have to worry about a pre-purchase car inspection, too. Lastly, there's usually better financing rates. Often, new cars have lower interest rates for financing. New cars right now are running 6 to 7%, while used could be twice that. Now, let's chat about the benefits of a used car. Lower cost, used cars historically are less expensive, both in sticker price and associated taxes. While the gap between new and used closed significantly during the pandemic, the differences are rapidly widening right now. Mm -hmm. Slower depreciation with a used car. Used cars lose value at a slower rate compared to new cars. That's always been true. Lower insurance costs. Typically, insuring a used car is less expensive than insuring a new vehicle. Right. With used, you'll want to see vehicle history reports. Availability of detailed history reports can assure buyers of the car's condition, and you should always make arrangements for a pre-purchase inspection, or a PPI, as it's known in the industry. You have a wide variety of choices, access to a wide range of models, including those that might no longer be in production. For sure. Number four is conduct online research for your vehicle. It's a good thing you started here at the Homework Guide channel, but also utilize the many online resources that compare models, read some reviews, and check safety ratings. Look for cars that fit your needs and research selling prices so you know what falls within your budget. Also, always remember that dealers listing prices are simply asking prices, not selling prices. Let's take a quick look at what you can expect for typical discounts. If you're buying new, most brands of cars can easily be purchased for around 9% below MSRP right now. If you recall, last fall we shared with you that the percentage off was between 3 and 5%, so it's steadily improving in your favor. Some brands are a bit less than 9% right now, and some are a lot more. For used cars, since late 2023 and continuing into early 2024, 
there was a noticeable decrease in prices across the overall used car market, affecting both car and truck segments. Not only has Black Book reported on this, but also Mannheim, the largest auto auction, is reporting that vehicle values have dropped 21% this past year. That's very significant, and it continues downward. This trend suggests plenty of room for negotiation due to these declining market prices. In fact, with channel members we're assisting, we've seen price drops from dealer asking prices to actual selling prices in the thousands of dollars. Yes. I want to repeat that. You should always negotiate down from the asking price to a more realistic selling price. If you don't, your depreciation losses will be much greater immediately after the sale. That's right, friends. There are often thousands of dollars in cost reductions available, and we'd love to help you tap into those savings. Just get a consults membership to get this kind of direct help. And if you sign up for a membership, start off by texting me first at 701-441-3399, and I will connect you with Kevin too. You'll get both of us. Number five, also consider vehicle resale value. Take time to investigate which cars hold their value over time. Buying a vehicle that holds its value is always smart thinking. This is particularly crucial if you plan to sell or trade in in the near future. However, if you're the type of buyer who keeps your cars for so long, nobody <laughs> would want what's left of it. Well, you don't have to worry about resale. You got it. Number six is understanding your financing options, even if you are a cash buyer. For those of you financing, you should come prepared with your own bank or credit union finance terms. We've been saying that one for years. Indeed. Explore different financing options, including loans and leases. Understand the terms, interest rate, and monthly payments. But if you are a cash buyer, keep that information to yourself and use this phrase if they just keep asking. You simply say, if we can agree on a price I'm willing to pay for a vehicle that I definitely need, I'll be interested in what the finance office has to offer when the time comes. Exactly. Number seven, insurance considerations. Insurance costs can vary significantly depending on the car model and your driving history. Always get insurance quotes and even consider talking to a new insurance provider because mm -hmm. sometimes the existing provider gets slap happy and keeps bumping your rates up. Right. But do that for models you're considering to avoid any last minute expensive surprises. You're ready for number eight then, the test drive. Scheduling test drives should be a standalone activity. Don't get sucked into going into the salesman's desk and getting drawn into a long drawn out discussion about numbers that will likely bury you. Test drive multiple cars to compare. Pay attention to the comfort that you're feeling, visibility, handling, braking, and noise levels. Remember, test driving is a learning mission, not a buying mission. During the test drive, check for any ergonomic issues, ease of technology use, and overall driving experience. Number nine, negotiation and closing the deal. This you want to do from the comfort of your home. Remember that the FTC cars rule plainly says before they visit the dealership and throughout the transactions, consumers have the right to know the drive off the lot price. I say right to know because it is your right. This is otherwise known as a out the door OTD price. When you've done your homework on the fair market value of the car, stand firm in your negotiations. Be prepared to negotiate based on your research and don't be afraid to abandon or walk away if the deal doesn't feel right. Number 10, closing the deal. Once you agree on a price, review all the numbers carefully. This is no time to let your guard down. Definitely not. Ensure everything you agreed upon is there in writing, all the terms match up and are clearly stated before signing anything. Most states do not have a cooling off period, so you're generally stuck with what you sign up for, so take your time. Buying a car is a significant decision and investment. By following this guide, you'll be better equipped to make a choice that fits your needs, lifestyle, and budget. Always remember, take your time, friends, do your research, and enjoy the journey of finding your next car. Today's show covered the essential steps and considerations in the car buying process, providing a comprehensive guide for potential car buyers. I do hope you learned something from it. Of course, your individual preferences and adjustments can be made to cater to your specific preferences or to focus on particular aspects you care more about. Friends, while you can see that all the evidence points to a shifting car market, it still takes plenty of courage on your part to hold dealer's feet to the fire and get a good car deal. Many of you have wondered over the years, can we hire one of you to help us? The answer to that question finally is yes. If you want an extra confidence boost with some direct coaching from us, you can jump on board with a channel membership and send us the link to the cards that you're looking for. If you have trouble finding out how to join, shoot me a text at 701-441-3399 and I will text you the join link. And if you do join, text the same number please. 
For the best direct help, we recommend going straight to the top with the Homework Guide Consults package at $49.99. It is so much cheaper than anything you can find out there. And you a get ton cheaper. A ton. <laughs> and you get regular text message contact with both Kevin and myself. When you sign up, if you text me first at 701-441-3399, I'll make sure you get Kevin's direct contact number as well. Also, any membership level can be canceled or downgraded at any time, so there's no risk and limited expense for you. And yes, we are quickly approaching the launch of our new website and the Car Buyer's Handbook we've been working diligently on. If you haven't already done it, make sure you check out our website, thehomeworkguy.com, and load up on the free tools there. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on Facebook and on X, formerly known as Twitter. So give us a visit on one of those platforms if you haven't already done that. If you've recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And to all of our new channel members, we really love working with you. Thank you. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back here to our channel. To all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business, and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. You can't go! All the plants are gonna die!